Big Fish Games. In this video, we want to look at their trademarks. Let's begin. Hi, my name is Martis. I make daily video about business, legal, and intellectual property. What is intellectual property? Think about trademark, copyright, and other intellectual property. If you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. I'm not forcing you. So I'm waiting. No. Thing is, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, Big Fish Gaming. If you're familiar with them, it's a uh, big gaming company. And the thing is, I just want to know what kind of trademark they register. And I want to show you how you can look for that. And also, what you need to look out for when you are creating a game and they have similar names. So, what you're going to do is we're going to go now to Google. And in Google, I'm going to show you everything. So, let's go. This is Google. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google and in Google I'm going to show you everything. This is Google. Thing is, let's look what we can find on Google. That's the important part. You see, Big Fish Gaming is a casual gaming company based in Seattle. It's a region office in Oakland, California, owned by Astrocrat Russia. It's a developer and uh, blah blah blah. Okay. And uh, the thing is, you will find a lot of information about them. And if you look at their website. They have a lot of games and uh, yeah, they have really a lot of games, mobile games, a lot of games. I think it's a really big company. They, they're active in different countries. So you will find a lot of these things in the trademark engine. You will see what I mean in a second. So popular games, you see they are registered. You see a lot of games here and game genre so they have a lot of games so if i were them and if i have a lot of games i will register those games but in this video we're not going to look for every games in this video i'm going to show you how you can find information about certain kind of games imagine you create a game that has a similar name you need to watch out when you register the trademark you understand what i mean so if you go to tm view is a search engine and we type bear and big fish we're not going to look for the term game, we're just going to look for the trademark. So, in this case, we will put Big Fish Gaming. So, look it up. In the other one, we didn't put um, the name because I knew before that we couldn't find any trademark about that name. But we could find other trademark like a uh, second name that is registered as trademark. But Big Fish Gaming has this name registered as trademark. So, if you see it here, this is trademark. They register a lot of trademark here. Like I said in the last video, watch out for trademark that ended. You need to look out for trademark that are registered and expired. So that's different between ended and expired. Eh? Expired means that they didn't um, um, they didn't um, create a new um, trademark. So ended is just ended. Eh? I will explain that in another video. I will go into depth and explain to you what it means. But if you look at this, you see here Big Fish Gaming and they register a lot of gaming company. You will find them in 41, 9, 38, SSR. Yeah, 42, it can be. But it depends what kind of company is. So if you register a game, most of the time you are in a similar class. But it depends on your target group and what kind of games you have. So you see this big fish company and you see that they are registered in a lot of company the results are 46 that's not bad eh? for a big company if you look application name you see big fish big fish is someone i do not know eh? and here maybe this one has a computer game of a name similar to the same name of big fish but we do not know we're not going to look for it but you see almost the same company but a lot of um company in different country so what you need to consider is if you have a game and you offer it in different country you need to think about okay should i register the trademark also in that co uh, country do i need to um, form a company in that country and that's what they did because they're a big company so let's look at one of those trademark and see what we can find and it's better to find something that is uh, mm, something that's okay so we look at register we know if something has more class, it can be interesting. This is filed, so it's not registered yet. So watch out for that. So we cannot. I cannot find here 
one with a lot but this is in Chile with a lot of um, classes so let's open this as a new tab that's interesting to see but let's look at the figure uh, the logo it's also interesting to see so let's look at also at this one and uh, what more do we have nine let's see and what's really important is sometimes you see some companies when they register a trademark you see how the logo changed at the year you can see that with uh, Philips and there was another one Philips or one on the year or something but uh, you see how the logo changed or the name changed and how they grow that's interesting to see so here you see big fish company it's Portuguese it's registered in Portuguese and um, I think something is wrong with this mm. Maybe it's this old, um, but I wouldn't register it like this. Yeah, publication, publication, yeah, claims. But you see, this is a trademark, the gaming, and yeah, they registered for number nine. And here you can change the, the, the language. I'm not going to do that, not interesting right now. Yeah. And let's go to another one, Big Games Gaming. Here you see, logo here you see only the, the words big fish gaming and you see here this is espanol serious de communication yeah so spanish my spanish is not optimal but uh, okay priority ah uh, yeah at first it was in us and they um they stretched out to spain quite clever i'll explain also that in another video not right now so you see this is one of the trademarks that they have and this is another one i think this is not their logo because if i look at the website big fish the logo changed maybe this is an old logo but this is a new logo that they're having right now in 2019 and this is an old logo in 2014. Mm. but it's interesting so you see a lot of companies started out and they change with year sometimes you have startups they think at the beginning everything needs to be perfect doesn't work like that. If you have a logo register, you can change it with time. And you can see that with a lot of pink companies. The more time stretch out, the more you go into the future, the logo design change. And you see, sometimes they started with a crappy logo. Now they have a really modern logo. But they change with your customer. So you see, big companies has, they have a lot of, um, big companies have a lot of um, companies outside they, their region, so if they are in uh, America, they have also other companies in different uh, countries and and they register also the trademark. And when you register the trademark, you can protect your trademark also in other country when someone tries to use your name in that country. So um, I hope you find it interesting. If you like it, feel free to like this video. If you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. I'm not forcing you. I'm just waiting. I will see you in the next video.